What's up everyone, it's Corey from Morph Gaming and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, beta gameplay and this is actually going to be some search and destroy on the map Hunted, but yeah, this is, it is a bit late, <laughs> I know that, uh, everyone's already, you know, done their beta gameplays and everything. I didn't get much time to play the beta, I played it a little bit on PS4, I played it a little bit on Xbox One, this is actually some Xbox One gameplay, uh, but as you can see by my rank, I think I'm like rank 6 or something in this, um, yeah, I didn't get much time to play it, but I did get a pretty good understanding of the game, and I tried a few different game modes and stuff, and... I want to like talk about what I think of Black Ops 3 basically in this gameplay rather than about the gameplay itself. Uh, it's just a 6-0 perfection um, search and destroy gameplay. Nothing amazing, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, um, I'm running the Man of War assault rifle, I think it is. Yeah, Man of War. And whatever the subclass is called with the like noob tube grenade launcher uh, war machine type thing. I don't really know. I don't really care. <laughs> the point is, I like this game, but I don't like the fact that it's not really like Call of Duty anymore. It's it's like this weird sort of bastard love child between like Call of Duty and a little bit of Titanfall and a little bit of Destiny. Because you've literally got the Destiny like supers in the game, but they're different. They're a little bit different, but they're essentially the Destiny supers. Like you got the Smash, which is essentially the Titan Smash. You've got the gun, which is essentially the Hunter's Golden Gun, and you've got whatever the other one is. <laughs> Can't think of it right now. Um, da -da -da -da. Warlock. Warlock, the self-revive. You've got that um, Rejack guy who does the self-revive, which is ridiculous because when you play something like Search and Destroy, which is obviously my favorite game mode, as you guys know, um, you shouldn't have the ability to come back to life. It's a non-respawn game. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to come back to life. And even more than that, you shouldn't have supers like whatsoever because that just changes the entire round. When someone has that one super, they could just go around and take out the whole team. And that makes that whole round pretty much pointless because it's like, it's not fun. It's some one person has something overpowered. Whereas if everyone just has normal guns, it would be completely fine. And I do like the supers in respawn game modes. They're fun. They add like a new element, which is cool. The jumping and stuff, it's, it's okay. You know, it's whatever. It's a boost. It's not as... Insane as Advanced Warfare, although I did quite like Advanced Warfare, like, that was definitely one of my favourite Call of Duties, it's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's okay, there's nothing, like, really wrong with it, it's just, no one really likes having to look in the air because everyone's jumping all the time, and this, you could do that, you could literally just jump around the whole time as well, you could put on that recharge perk which lets you recharge the jump hell quick, or just keep sliding around the whole time with it, um, but yeah, basically, I like old movement the best. And I know a lot of people that like the old movement the best. So I don't see why they can't just give us the old movement. I'm sure they will eventually. But, you know, they wanted to do another futuristic card, which is fine. Which is fine. This is a good card. It's futuristic. But they managed to, like, keep the core elements, which we still like. And, like, most of the time, your engagements will be on the ground, which is a good thing. But, again... I would have way preferred if there wasn't any sort of boost pack whatsoever, any sort of exo type suit thing whatsoever, and any sort of supers. I think it would have been an amazing Call of Duty if it didn't have any of that. But it has that, which makes it fun in some certain circumstances, but in others, you know, it's a little bit unbalanced, it's a little bit stupid, it's a little bit more Destiny-esque, but I still like it. It's it's good, it's just not good in non-respawn game modes, where you know, things have to be balanced. You have to be, like, going in there equal. Whereas if you have, like, half a team which all have their supers ready and then, like, the other team don't have their supers ready, obviously the team with the supers are going to win. Um, uh, they're not even called super. I don't even know what they're called in this, <laughs> to be honest. But you know what I mean. Like, your special ability ready. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely will be bringing you guys a lot of Black Ops 3 content. I don't not like the game. I just think it could have been a little bit better if they had really, like, thought about what the players want. And, like, come on, the underwater engagements, like, they're cool. They're really cool, i got to admit. It's, like, it's something I've never seen before. I've never seen anyone shooting guns before underwater, obviously, because bullets don't actually travel underwater. They break up in, like, less than one meter, but whatever. <laughs> 
they're fun. They're really fun to go underwater. But it's like a swimming simulator, this map almost. Like, half the time you're almost spending, like, wondering about who's in the water and, like, jumping in the water to check the water because it's, like, the best place to go because no one can see into it and you can jump out of it and I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird, but it's not bad. It's just, it's different, you know. It's something different and I, I kind of like it, you know. I, I like the water element, I gotta admit. It's, it's adds something, you know, a little bit, little bit unique. Like, you never see that in any other game, I gotta admit. <laughs> You never really see people doing like underwater gunfights almost half the time, which is insane. Definitely on this map when you play search, it's a lot of underwater engagements, especially in your B. Um, but yeah, this is obviously not the greatest gameplay, but it's it's okay. And yeah, I had no idea what I was doing with this missile thing. Um, but yeah, like I've I've played some respawn ones as well, some respawn game modes, and they're pretty fun. Um, I gotta admit that one where you protect the robot, apparently my friends love that one because you can drop 100 plus uh, kills on them like easily. <laughs> so that's cool if you guys are like respawn game mode type players, but I pretty much only like SMD to be honest, that's that's my main game mode, it's always been my main game mode. And when I play like competitive type game modes of like ranked or whatever in this game, I usually always try to go for the SMD games because that's why I excel and that's just what I like. But I've got to admit, it is still fun. SD is still fun in Black Ops 3. It's it's a good it's a good game, and I'll definitely be playing it. Um, I'm not going to give it a rating because I'm against ratings. I don't think that's really a good idea. But if you're wondering about getting Black Ops 3, whether you should or not, I definitely do recommend you get it. And don't expect something like old school like Black Ops 2. Uh, don't expect complete like advanced warfare jumping around everywhere craziness. It's somewhere in between, and it's a good balance, and if you like Destiny multiplayer, you are going to love this. <laughs> You're going to love this, especially the, like, respawn game modes. So yeah, um, there will be a little bit more of this uh, Advanced Warfare game uh, gameplay sort of, like, uh, videos and stuff coming up. I have to think about three more Advanced Warfare videos, and that's going to be Advanced Warfare done after that. No more Advanced Warfare after that. And then we'll just be looking forward to like Halo 5 and Black Ops 3 and all those awesome new games coming out. So I hope you guys are excited for that, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy gaming. Only reason to live. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I was on fucking hair! Fuck this game! I'm fucking done! <laughs>